MIT chemistry professor Daniel Nocera's recent discovery of a unique way to store solar energy could revolutionize how we power our homes. There is a way, there's, there's a lesson to be learned from nature. There's all those little green things out there called leaves on plants. They store energy all the time because they need to live when the sun's not out. And the way they do that is they do it in photosynthesis. In around one hour, the amount of sun that hits the face of the earth is what we use an entire year globally for our energy. Our discovery is, is we figured out how to split water to hydrogen and oxygen and to do it efficiently and to use earth abundant materials and you can easily manufacture it and what's special is you can do it in a glass of water at atmospheric pressures and room temperature. Now with our catalyst you can make hydrogen and oxygen you store that downstairs. So now the sun's out, you're using your photovoltaic, use the electricity directly from it, run your house, be happy all day. The sun goes down, take the extra electricity during the day, use this catalyst, break up water to hydrogen and oxygen, store that downstairs. So when the sun goes down, you can then take the hydrogen and oxygen, recombine them in a fuel cell, and then you get electricity out. So at night you have electricity. You were driving your electric car around all day and now the battery ran down, pull the car back in, and now you recharge the battery. And so all of a sudden your house has become a power station, a coal-fired power plant, effectively. It's become a gas station. So it really, in my opinion, at least opens a door for the large-scale deployment of solar because we have an easy way without a simple reactions and simple things to store uh, that energy.